I promised I would shoot a video um, to show everybody. So, got the DD1 here, got the uh, Fluke 123 scope meter. You can see our wave is nice and clean. We're at 2.075 volts RMS coming out of the head unit. Okay, we're going to turn the DD1 on. DD1 says that it's got signal. Um, some things I've learned about this, by the way, um, and I may show you that here in a little bit, but the uh, the 40 hertz detect and the signal have set voltages that they come on. But anyway, so you can see the waves nice and clean, both the scope where you can see the waveform and the DD1 agree. So let's go up one click, and we've increased to 2.614, everybody's happy. I'm going to go up to where I know that they clip at. Okay, here we are at 4 volts on the nose. Now, this is a 4 volt head unit, and we can see that the waveform is slightly distorted. So we know that we're in a soft clip right now. I'm sorry for the camera work. I'm using my cell phone, and it's very difficult. Um, but that is a soft clip. Okay, we can see that. The DD1, when the track changes, it shows distortion, but it is not showing distortion. See, we, we've got a wave. It is not showing distortion. It doesn't care about that soft clip. So everybody who hates the DD1 so far, uh, at this point in the testing, you've got a point. But wait. Oh, one more, and we've got our sawtooth wave. These are. This is what your hard clip looks like. This is what blows your speakers. Um, and the DD1 sees it. Okay. So you might say, well, the DD1 doesn't detect distortion so I blew my speakers. No, you didn't know what you were doing with it. You didn't use it right. Uh, it does work. Um, it does detect distortion and it worked quite well. Um, my meter has a pretty high resolution so it'll pick up, you know, uh, a malformed wave before most other people's but, you know, it's the only way we were able to see. A lot of other people have measured and seen that the the DD1 picked up distortion before their scope did. Uh, there's other YouTube videos out there about that. But for the most part, the DD1 did a good job. I mean, <clears throat> we'll turn it down a click so you can see where it didn't get it. Now, clearly it went off. That was one click. You see the voltage is back to where it was, and you see that the waveform is exactly the way it was. Uh, that soft clip. I might turn this light off so you can see that a little better. If I can. Well, I don't know how. So... <laughs> <laughs> just deal with it but anyway um so there's that you might say why what's going on here well the head unit cannot put out any more than four volts or sorry four volts just can't do it okay so that's why it clips we have told it to um go up higher than that and it can't so what happens is the amplitude of the, this wave tries to get larger okay but it can't because it's capped. The voltage limit is right there, so it cuts it off. And let me show you. We'll go back to our sawtoothed wave. Okay. Even well, let's make it even worse. That's pretty bad. We can make it worse than that. Okay, that's a pretty pretty bad wave. We're blowing up some stuff right here. I mean, this is not good. But why is it flat on the top? Because it cannot put out any more than 4 volts. But our measurement up there says 4.9 volts. How can that be? Uh, the head unit will not let it put out more than 4 volts. So it chops the top of the wave off. So why does it say 4.9 volts? Notice it says RMS. RMS is a calculation. It means root mean squared. So the amount of time that it spins at maximum is factored in. Um, Root mean squared is as though the wave is nice and round. But since this wave is not nice and round, it spends a lot more time at maximum. So the calculation tells it that it's a much higher voltage than it is. Why am I going on about that? Because that's what you guys are doing when you clamp your amps and you don't have a scope. Um, when you have no regard for THD, you are getting skewed clamp results. And that's how come you're clamping, your amp is doing rated at 3 ohms. It can't possibly be doing that. It's rated at 1 ohm. It might do rated at 1 point, you know, something ohms, but not 2 ohms. It's not going to do rated at 2 ohms. Certainly not going to do rated at 2 and some change. 
So if you get those kind of results, you've clamped wrong. Um, your results are just lies. So this is uh, this is to prove that the DD1 actually is useful if you know what you're doing. Um, use zero dB tones or the negative five or six or whatever it is. Don't use any less than that because you're setting it with too silent of a signal and then you're cranking it up. So anyway, yeah, uh, this proves the DD1 works. It proves you guys don't know what you're doing when you clamp. And uh, feel free to flame away. Just give my channel views.